She stands about this tall. She has almond-shaped eyes and she has dark brown hair. I took her to the first movie that she had ever went to. We parked the car. We walked in, I bought the ticket, I bought her a large bag of popcorn and a Pepsi. I took her into the theater, I set her down, and I quickly learned that I had to keep one leg over the chair, otherwise it would have thrown her back two or three rows, because she's so small. We went to go see that movie Shrek, remember the green monster with the funny ears and the sidekick of a donkey? That was the movie, was her first movie that she'd ever seen in a movie theater with the surround sounds and the comfortable seats. We sit there. Little Avery has what's known as Down Syndrome. It's no big deal. It's just a part of who she is. But she would look over at Daddy and just with eyes of wonder thinking, is this for real? I mean, the bright colors, the music is this for real daddy and I would turn and look at her and I would just smile we'd watch the movie together and after the movie was over I'm a credit reader I sit around and read everybody's name that I don't know actually I'm there to see if they show any bloopers sometimes they're better than the whole movie but once the movie was over, the music started playing. And Avery started pushing me out in the aisle because she knows that when the music plays, it's okay for her to dance. I said, I looked at her, I said, hold on, sweetheart, hold on. Wait until everybody leaves. And this happened two or three times, and finally, I said, come on, girlfriend. We got in that aisle and we busted some moves. And every theater that you go to is at a slight angle. And within moments, we had worked our way to the front of the stage. And we were spinning each other around and laughing and bouncing off the walls and having a good time. Well, little Avery's older now. A couple, three months ago, we went to see a movie called Tangle about a girl with long hair. Bought her popcorn, bought her a Pepsi. Cost me ten dollars. They said it was on sale. I don't have to put my leg over a chair anymore because she's a big girl. We watched the movie together. Good time. And after the after the movie music started playing. Little Avery started pushing me out in the aisle. Hold on, sweetheart. Hold on. Wait until everybody leaves. And after a while, I said, come on, girlfriend. We danced again in that aisle. Once again, we made our way to the front and we were coming up with moves that the dances with stars haven't even created. We were having a good time. And I did one of my fancy turnaround spins and I stopped dead. And right then in the corner of my eye I saw a half a dozen people back in the corner in the dark. And I felt myself get embarrassed. I felt myself getting flush turning red. Oh, shoot. Dawns on me that they don't even see Avery because she's so small and all they do is seeing me up there. You know? I said, there's no way I'm going to walk down that center aisle. Huh. This is my chance. I'm going to go out that exit door. I've always wondered where that sign went to. I might not be found for days, but I'm not going to face them. I'm going out that exit door. And I turned to grab little Avery's hands, and I saw the biggest smile on her face, and I knew exactly what she was thinking. She was thinking, oh, when Daddy reaches toward me, he's going to give me a big one this time. 
But when she saw me, she saw that I was distracted. Instead of taking my hand, she grabs my hand and she jerks me to the ground where I'm on one knee and she starts doing this thing to me. <laughs> that little game that I used to play with her when she was just a child, I'd peek around the corner and go, I'm watching you, I'm watching you. And now she's throwing it back at me. And she starts saying, dance with Avery, dance with Avery. Do you know what she was really telling me? She was telling me, Daddy, get focused. Get focused on where you can make the biggest difference. Daddy, I'm number one here. Forget about those other people. Daddy, get focused on me. That's what she was saying. I read her loud and clear. What are you focused on? Are you distracted? Or do you know where your, your gifts and your talents are? You've got to be focused on students. You do. And it's about them. Using our gifts to pull out the best, the greatness that's inside of them. Forgetting about what other people think. It was my own insecurity about those people back in the corner. But so much time we get so unfocused on trying to work the system. Please, the right people don't have time to do what we need to do to work that magic that's, that's inside of us, that God-given ability to empower us. That's where we need to be focused on. Avery reminded me when she started doing this, just to get focused. I took her to school yesterday, and I watch her every day. I'm thinking about those teachers, encouraging them and reminding them to get focused as she's there. So, get focused on your gifts and your talents. You guys are already rock stars. Make them rock stars. You know, let them find themselves. And when they take a blank piece of canvas and they are trying to express themselves, teach the fundamentals over and over and over and over. And then once they learn the rules, then, then they have the authority and the power to break them. But most, most of the artists I'm seeing today don't even know the fundamentals. They just want to express themselves. <laughs> Well, learn the fundamentals, and then you can express yourselves. <laughs> know what works. Truth is truth.